Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're giving away a guitar. The day has come. We're giving away the Rusty Frankenstrat, which is a build I recently did on my show Trash to Thrash. If you haven't seen those episodes yet, it was a two-part series. Go check it out. I'll link it down in the description and at the end of this video here. But today, the time has come for us to give the guitar away. The way I do these raffles is I give them away to one of my lucky Patreon members. So if you want a chance to win one of my guitars in the future, go sign up at patreon.com slash guitar guts. I'll have a link in the description of this video so you can go sign up if you wanna go sign up and have a shot at winning one of these guitars. The way I do it is I download the full list of my Patreon members. Everybody has a number assigned to them in order of when they signed up. Then I go over to Google's random number generator. I pull a number between one and one million or however many Patreon members I have. It's a lot less than a million, I'll tell you that. So I'm super excited to give this thing away to somebody. This is one of the coolest Frankenstrats I've ever built or I've ever even seen. It's really unique, really different. It's a hybrid between James Hetfield's Rusty Explorer and the original Frankenstrat. So really cool concept in my opinion that my shop assistant Ryan came up with. And we got a bunch of new ideas from this one that we're gonna be implementing into the future. After we do the giveaway, I had asked you guys in the videos for the Rusty Frankenstrat what you guys want for the next guitar giveaway. I just picked up an awesome Stratocaster that would make another great Frankenstrat. So I said, hey, let's make another Frankenstrat after this. I love doing them. You guys love seeing them. But I've done red ones, I've done green, I've done all these different color variations. I wanna do something different, so I asked you guys, since one of you guys is gonna be the one who wins this guitar, I wanted to know what would you wanna win? What custom color Frankenstrat should I do next? And I got a lot of different answers from you guys, so I'm gonna go over some of the comments after we give the Rusty OA, and I wanna hear from you guys, let me know which ones you think are your favorites. And then I'm gonna create a poll with just a couple selections, let you guys vote on it, and we're gonna make one of them. So I really like the ideas that you guys had came up with, and we're gonna go over them right after we give away the guitar. So let's head over to the computer to make sure that everything's legit and fair. I'm gonna be doing a screen capture here on my computer as I'm doing this. You guys are gonna see the list of the Patreon members. So without any further ado, let's give this guitar away. This is insane. I always get nervous. I don't know why I get nervous when I'm pulling the names, but here we go. So. Random number generator, we have 58 members to the CEO tier of my Patreon. So that means these people all had a one in 58 shot. And really it's better odds than that because two of these are accounts that I pay for. And if I happen to draw my name or my fiance's name, who we both have memberships to my own Patreon, um, then the guitar goes right back into the giveaway and next month we're gonna be raffling it off again. So there is a shot, there's a chance that if you didn't get signed up yet, you might still have a shot at winning it next month, but you know, we'll see. I don't know. Um, let's jump on into it, man. This is exciting stuff here. So I'm gonna hit the generate button right here. You can see it. The, the number nine was already there in, in gray. So you know, I haven't clicked on it yet. It's a brand new window here and let's do it. So number 16, we got Dylan Garrett. Dylan, congratulations, man. You just won the Rusty Frankenstrat. I'll get in contact with you by the time this video comes out. You've already heard from me. Hopefully I've heard back from you already because again, if I don't hear from somebody within 30 days, this guitar goes right back out into the giveaway pile. So like I said, if you guys wanna win one of these guitars, you gotta go sign up over on my Patreon page. Of course, I pay for the shipping to get the guitar to you. It is worldwide, so if I have to end up shipping it to Australia, which I've done before, it comes out of my pocket. You pay nothing. So it really is a great deal. You also get a lot more with the Patreon. You get ad-free versions of all the videos I do here on YouTube. You also get access to the Guitar Guts Discord channel. So you could chat with like mind guitar rebuilders and modders. And we all come together as a community to help out and contribute ideas to each other's builds. And of course you get automatically entered into all the giveaways that I do. So as often as I can, I like to give these guitars away. And on top of all that you get a member exclusive video every week. So there's some extra premium content that shows a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. It shows day to day what I'm actually working on. Sometimes it's projects that I don't want everybody out there in the world to see yet. It's things I'm holding back. As a Patreon member, you get to see those secret projects. It's more conversational. It's more long form. Like there's an OLP MM1 quilted stealth guitar that I recently rebuilt. That guitar is for sale right now, by the way. But I did a seven part series over on my Patreon page that's hours long. Each one's almost an hour. When I compress that down for trash to thrash, it's gonna be 15 to 20 minutes. So just so you get an idea, 
of what you're going to be getting. Um, I'm going to be giving you guys as a Christmas gift this weekend, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. That's this Saturday and this Sunday. I'm going to be unlocking the member exclusive videos here on YouTube. So the whole OLP MM1 mini series is actually going to be free to watch. So if you're stuck with relatives that you're bored with, if you got no plans, if your family lives far away and you're going to be alone on Christmas, you can log on to the Guitar Guts YouTube channel, the main channel, and you're going to see the OLP mini series. I'll put up like a playlist and I'll send it out on Instagram and all kinds of stuff so that it's easy to find for you guys. I'll even make a community post so it's real easy to find, but I'm going to make them all open to everybody. And there's a couple other videos that are going to be going up as well. There's a Stealth Roads I recently built for a customer so I'll be unlocking these multi-part series for you guys to watch so go check them out come Monday they're gonna go back to members only so you better jump in Saturday and Sunday to check them out see what you've been missing and maybe go sign up for the YouTube membership or the patreon page it's ten dollars a month for patreon five dollars for the YouTube members videos and with the patreon you get so much more you get you know involved in the guitar giveaways and you get the discord with the YouTube membership you do not get those extra benefits so if you don't care about that stuff you just want the extra videos and throw me a couple extra bucks a month for support then go by all means sign up to the YouTube one but if you want everything and you want ad free versions of the videos and everything you want to win those guitars then go sign up to the patreon page like I said links are in the description for all this stuff so let's head over to the computer now and pull up all these comments that you guys left me about the Frankenstrat we're gonna rebuild for the next giveaway guitar. All right, there's a lot of these comments, so we're gonna run through them pretty quick here. The first one's from Tyler. He said, you gotta make a pink one, man. Well, if we do pink, what color stripes should we do on it? Let me know in the comments what you guys think. The next one, from Uncle Sasquatch, he wrote, purple and gold EVH on the next one. You guys know I'm totally down. Does that mean purple with gold stripes or gold hardware or both? We got the Rock Beast, an inverted color scheme like red where the white would be and white where the red would be. Sounds interesting. If you guys like some of these ideas, let me know in the comments, like I said. McDragster said red, white, and blue, which I've done a red, white, and blue one. It looked totally awesome. It was the same as the original Frankenstrat, but I substituted black with blue. Cynic said, how about Mopar orange or a reverse 78 striped, so black with white stripes. I've seen orange ones. They're kind of cool. But I really like that idea, the reverse 78. So black with white stripes, I think that would be really cool. m and Blades. Lime green and flat black with matching black hardware and matching green inlays and green and black zebra pickups. Cheers. That sounds sick. I like that idea. The green with flat black. I have done navy blue with lime green or fluorescent green stripes, and that thing turned out super sick. So this, another one that's really good. Blue and yellow, a blue angels theme. That'd be a great combo. I'm, I'm guessing yellow stripes over blue. How about a black and magenta for your next Frankenstrat color? Make the stripes magenta, gold hardware, like an EVH Prince type cross. That sounds really cool, actually. I like that. I like the dark colors together because it kind of like gives it that stealthy, you know, not over the top ridiculous look. But then again, the ridiculous look is super fun. Oscar said, do some Evangelion stripes. Um, some loud purple with neon green pinstripes. Oh, that would be sick with some orange colored pickups. Oh, snap. That would be insane. I'm not against that. I don't know about the orange pickups, but the purple with neon green stripes. See, the neon green, that's something a couple times that's already come up. Matte or bone or off-white, matte, bone white, off-white, and a mega gloss Arctic white stripes. So almost like the, the Arctic version of the stealth Frankenstrats that I do. Matching headstock, all white hardware. Where do you get white hardware, though? I'm not sure I could pull that off. Possibly chrome, possibly black hardware. I mean, you can't go wrong with black hardware. Or um, black nickel hardware or Cosmo black hardware would look super sick on white. He calls it the snowy Frankenstrat. Good one. I like that, Jeremy. Bruce over here says, how about black and red? With a red or silver mirror pick guard and a subtle red glitter paint so you could see it in the right light. That sounds awesome. I like that. Lime green stripes, matte black body with matching headstock. That's the second vote we've got for that so far. So that seems like that could be a popular one. That's the third one though for lime green stripes. Mad Monkey says next one could be matte white with dark and light blue stripes. White Seymour Duncan SH6 and chrome hardware would look awesome in my mind. So matte white with dark blue and light blue stripes. Oh, so a three color. I like that. Matte white as the top coat. Wow, that sounds cool. And I actually really like the white Seymour Duncan idea too. That's cool. 
Christian Torres said next strat should be a silver burst color. Interesting. Uh, Denver Randy. I like that name. That's cool. Denver Randy. For some reason, that sounds like a fun dude. I like the idea of a matte gray with chrome lines and chrome hardware. Like a Frankenstrat and a Chrome Boy mixed together. I've never done Chrome, so that would be super crazy and super awesome. Dwayne says, for the next one, how about a gray with black and white stripes with a gloss finish? Thank you for your hard work on these videos. I personally enjoy them and find them inspiring. Hey, good to hear. Thank you so much for that. So gray with black and white stripes. I like that a lot. I've seen, I think I've seen gray before. If not, I've seen the Photoshop of it and it looked great. Jesus said, next Frankenstrat, black or black matte? with neon green stripes. So that's the third suggestion for neon green stripes over matte black. Guys, if you guys want that, that seems like a lot of people are into that. Usually if multiple people are saying that, that means he, 10 times that we're thinking that. So might have to do that. Uh, Jesse said, I vote for a red Frankenstrat. Even though in the video I said, I don't want to do a red one. Let's do something different. He said, let's do red anyways. Okay. Well, if that's what people want, I'd, be, I'd do it. Emmanuel said, Rasta Frankenstrat. That would be sick. The EVH Rasta. One of the hardest EVH stripe paint jobs to do. I'd be down to give it a shot, but I wouldn't be able to get it ready in time for a giveaway in a month. The matte finishes, I might be able to do that. So that could be a January giveaway possibly. Riri said, do a black on black. Flat black with ghost black or shiny black stripes. See, that's the that's the matte or the, um, the stealth ones I already do. If you guys want me to give away a stealth Frankenstrat, I'll do that. But I've already given away one. I've already built another one. So I've done a couple of those already. I'm down if that's what you guys want though. J2, neon yellow or orange? See, I think neon yellow with black stripes would be sick. Orange, I mean, you can't go wrong with orange and black. That's kind of Halloween-y, but that would look, I think that would look cool. Matthias said, you should make a brown Frankenstrat. I still haven't seen anyone do that. Although people call Eddie's sound the brown sound. So of course there should be a brown Frankenstrat. Hey, why not? Nikat said, black guitar with red stripes would look killer. I think that's the second or third suggestion we've had for red stripes over black, so that's cool. Into the Pit said, would be nice to see some mint or more pastel colors. I've seen like pastel blue over black and white stripes that looked so sick. I think it might have been a Photoshop even. Sammy says, how about a rainbow crackle and splatter Frankenstrat? So I don't, I don't know exactly how to make it crackle and splatter and still make it like a Frankenstrat style, but... I actually do have uh, a 90s, an uh, early 90s, like a 92 Korean Frankenstrat. This is a body that I already painted crackle that I was going to stripe up and do like some type of red crackle or something over it so that it would be kind of what you're talking about. But I'm also thinking maybe just do splatter over this crackle, which is kind of what you're saying here, Sammy, the crackle and splatter, but that obviously is not rainbow. So sounds awesome. Sounds really awesome. David665 says the next Frankenstrat should have the most obnoxiously neon 80s colors. Any greens, pinks, or blues should do. Definitely a pink slash yellow zebra bucker. Pink and yellow. That, I am, like I said, I'm down. Jerry said next one purple and gold. Crown Royal colors. Second suggestion we've had for that combination. And purple and gold is like a couple of my favorites. Very royal. I like that. RDT says, for the next one, try a reverse bumblebee. I like that a lot. I would love to do a reverse bumblebee. So far, my favorites are the reverse bumblebee, the crackle one, uh, the neon green with matte black over it. Hi, Mark. This matte black looks very sweet. I also agree the headstock does have the modern Charvel look. Overall, that is probably one of my favorites so far. How about a camouflage one? Nice, Wes. So would that be like camo, like a drab green over black and white? Or are you thinking like, the three, you know, camo, olive drab greens and like browns as the stripes. That could be super sick. I like that. I like that a lot. Paul McCourt, vintage white and black bumblebee with gold and black hardware all been relic to make it down and dirty. Could do that for sure. Blizzard Bros, you should make a white EVH guitar with bright pink stripes like in the 1978 style. Uh, I mean, not my style, but hey, if that's... If that's what wins, then we'll be making it. Mark Gray, the guitar looks awesome. I say the next one should be an evil zombie Hello Kitty Frankenstrat. So what exactly would that be? Like white and pink? Maybe with like uh, some like black and green somehow mixed in? I don't know. If, if that's something that sounds interesting, let me know how we could work that out, guys. That sounds cool. So those were some great suggestions, guys. Let me know in the comments which are your favorites. 
and then I'll put together some type of poll in the next week. We'll all vote on it, and we'll get the next giveaway guitar going. Um, I have another bunch of comments here that I want to go over that are from the second channel, because I did um, a video showing some guitars that I recently unboxed. One of them was a PV HP2, like a Wolfgang, with this beautiful flame maple top on it. And people were freaking out in the comments saying, what are you doing? Don't sand that thing down. Go get another black guitar. Paint that. So I wanted to go over some of those. I thought they were pretty good. This one from Paradise Python says, the flame top is too pretty to paint. He should have kept it and got a black one for the paint job. Sometimes you get a good deal on a beautiful looking guitar and it's the best price you can get on the guitar that you wanted. And you know, if he would have gone for a black one, it might have cost him more. So the top on this guitar is actually a very thin veneer. It's, it's not like a, a solid maple top. So it's not like it's, you know, we're not going over like a crazy beautiful piece of wood over here. It's, it's a thin veneer. So nothing to worry about here. Brian, the owner of the guitar, stopped in to say, that's my PV Mark just unboxed. It's just paint, fellas. Yeah, it's just a veneer top on that guitar. Uh, James said, Korean Squires with a black logo are the lowest quality Korean Squires made of plywood, built in the mid-90s. Korean Squires with a silver logo are built in the late 80s. And Korean Squires with a gold logo are the best ones with alder body and even some series with ash body, built in the mid-90s too. It's always good to know when buying these guitars. And in my opinion, the necks on all of them are pretty good. But like he's saying, the quality of the body does change depending on what color the headstock logo is. I actually didn't know that, so that's really cool. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for today. I really appreciate you guys. Let me know in the comments what color Frankenstrat you think sounds the coolest. Be sure to be subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video. Rock on, my friends.